So blood from the fetal aorta is coming down here, dividing into the iliac arteries. And here we have the internal iliac arteries. And the umbilical arteries arise from the fetal internal iliac arteries, one from the right, one from the left. And these take arterial blood to the placenta. It's arterial because it's moving away from the fetal heart. In the placenta, it picks up oxygen, it picks up nutrients, it gives up carbon dioxide, it gives up waste products that go away in the mother's circulation. And this is in pink because it's mixed oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. So mixed oxygenated and deoxygenated blood goes to the placenta and becomes more highly oxygenated. And then, of course, it has to come back from the placenta. Uh, also in the umbilical cord. Now we notice that the umbilical arteries are in the umbilical cord. So that's the, the umbilicus there, from there to there, the baby's belly button, and that is the umbilical cord. And we notice here it's carrying the arteries, but we also notice here it's carrying the umbilical vein. So here we have the umbilical vein. This is in bright red because it's carrying highly oxygenated blood. And that's going back in the umbilical vein, which also runs through the umbilical cord into the baby. And near the liver, the umbilical vein divides. Part of the blood goes into the hepatic portal vein to go to the baby's liver. And increasing amounts of blood go to the baby liver or the fetal liver as the uh, gestation progresses, as the fetal age increases. But the rest of it goes through this special shunt vessel here called the ductus venosus, the ductus venosus. And it's this that's taking blood back into the inferior vena cava. We notice it's deoxygenated because it's coming from the baby's lower part of the body here. But now it's mixed with this highly oxygenated blood via the ductus venosus from the umbilical vein. So it's now mixed oxygenated and deoxygenated. And this goes all the way up to the inferior vena cava. This is the inferior vena cava here. That goes all the way up to the inferior vena cava and connects on there like that. Now, the inferior vena cava, if you know about the circulatory system, goes into the right atrium of the heart. And we also notice that the superior vena cava is bringing deoxygenated blood back from the top part of the body. Because the baby doesn't breathe in the uterus, the fetal lungs aren't expanded. So the blood's going to go from the right atrium here, then it goes through to the right ventricle as normal through this tricuspid valve. And then of course the right ventricle pumps its blood into the pulmonary artery and that goes up here. But we don't want a lot of blood going to the fetal lungs because there's no air going through them, so there's not a lot of point. And the vascular resistance in the fetal lungs is high. So what happens is the blood actually goes straight on through this communicating vessel here. And this is the, uh, the next shunt vessel we're looking at. This is the ductus arteriosus, again, only present in the fetus. The same as the ductus venosus, only present in the fetus. So the blood goes straight from the pulmonary artery, straight to the aorta. And from the aorta, the blood goes all around the fetal systemic circulation. And we notice it's only partly oxygenated, but thankfully that's enough to maintain fetal tissues and to allow them to grow. So that's the ductus venosus. Now, the third shunt in fetal circulation is what we call the foramen ovale, and this is in the atrial septum. So again, here we see the blood coming up from the inferior vena cava, going into the right atrium. Some blood goes through to the right ventricle, as we've noted, to go out of the pulmonary artery and then through the ductus arteriosus. But there's also a valve here. And this valve will allow blood to go from the right atrium to the left atrium. It flaps open like this to allow the blood to go through. So in fetal life, the foramen ovale is open and the blood can freely go through. And that means that fairly well oxygenated blood is going from the left atrium through to the left ventricle. And of course, when it's in the left ventricle, as we know, it's ejected through the aortic valve into the aorta to go around the fetal circulation.